Hi and welcome to the Azam Shop channel on YouTube. I'm your host Muhammad Azam, and in this screencast, I'm going to show you uh, a new feature of iOS 5, which is UI View Controller Containment. So when you're developing for the iPhone, you have a very small real state, right? And uh, you, usually, if you want to display more items, you have to drill it down. You have to uh, perform a hierarchy or a tree view. But in iPad, you have a much bigger real estate. So you can show many different things, like a dashboard. You can show different things at the same time. Okay, so we're going to build a very, very simple dashboard. And since I'm only familiar with Cricket, I'm going to use Cricket, the game, as an example. We are going to have two sections in our uh, dashboard. And uh, one will be saying, let's say, Pakistan versus England. The other one will be like India versus Australia. And you can quickly look at both. You know, if you're using that application in your iPad, you can quickly look at the dashboard and say, OK, this is the score of this. OK, this is the latest news about that. Right. So let's get started. This is our um, basically iPad uh, in simulator or in designer view. And this is in uh, orientation landscape. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a UI view over here. All right. And just going to resize this. And you can display as many as you want, right? Uh, these small sections. We are just going to display two of them. So. I go over here I'm just gonna align it over here right here we go so these are two different sections now um, you can assign these any kind of any values right um, I'm just gonna go over here and say all right so I'm just gonna say over here this is an IV outlet it's a UI view and section one you can come up with a much better name than section one right and you should all right so here we go property outlet ui view and uh, you can have section number two we're gonna we're going to call the section number one the, the one on the right hand side and section number two of course is the one on the left hand side uh, we're just going to go over here and create the properties so section one and section two okay section one can display basically uh, anything right so um, I just created let's say this one top five teams all right and we can display anything that you want so top five teams we are uh, what I'm going to do is just going to write it over here top five teams all right and you can add a another one. Ah, not the group. Let's delete that. New file. Uh, UI view controller. And you can also display the table view controller, but we are just going to stick with uh, the UI view controller. And you can say latest, I don't know, latest news, whatever, latest news controller. Here we go. So we have latest news controller. Um, go ahead and set the orientation to landscape. Here we go. And UI label. And let's put the label. Right over here. And you can display anything that you want. Just it will just behave like a normal UI view controller but I'm just going to say latest news and this can be about anything right so here we go so we created two different uh, basically views all right if you want you can also change the color I'm just going to call it let's say blue and just this one just for fun I mean you're not gonna do that I hopefully not I mean the colors look pretty ugly so so you have created two different uh, view controllers top five teams controller and a latest news controller 
now we will go to our main uh, file which is view controller and we are going to just simply in import these things and now we already have a section 1 and section 2 but I don't think they are mapped together correctly here we go section number 1 uh, is the one on the right hand side and section number 2 is the one on the left hand side all right and let's close that all right now what so we're going to go over here and create our section so let's say top five teams controller top five controller equal to um, top five controller and we already have section number one so I'm just going to say top five uh, controller dot view dot frame equal to section or you can say self dot section one uh, dot what is a bounce yes bounce okay now the next thing you can do is you can actually add it so I'm just gonna say self dot section number one add sub view and top five controller dot view and the new feature that we talk about is adding the child view controller so you can add a child view controller so that that particular section of the page that you are displaying like top five teams or top five matches or whatever that will be controlled by the top five teams controller all right let's run this And here we go. So now on the right hand side, since we injected only the right hand side, section number one, which is representing the right hand side, you can see it says top five teams. All right. And in the same way, you can do the other one also. So which, what is the other one? The latest news something? Latest news. Latest news controller. Latest news controller. and it's also a good idea if you have a lot of content so it's a good idea to go into a top five teams controller or those child controllers like latest news controller and put all the stuff like all your controls inside a scroll view control so that your area is scrollable if you put in inside one of the sections if you put a ui table view controller if you display a table it will automatically scroll since a table uh, you know already has a ui view a ui scroll control I mean UI scroll view um, so now we can say watch latest news controller dot view dot frame self dot section number two dot bounce okay what happened over here all right so this will be small here we go and we can say self dot section number two add sub view and the sub view will be um, latest this controller dot view and self add child view controller which is latest news controller so here we go so you have two different sections uh, they all did both belong to a different uh, view controller and handled by different view controller and they both are displayed in the uh, basically a UI view controller using the using the add child view controller the method right so this is a very good functionality I mean you can if you are running a dashboard for a company you can you know project status or whatever you want to display and I already have written article on it uh, article ID is 848 and you can see that we created kind of like a dashboard type system and all of these our uh, UI table view controller I wonder if the source is available for download oh here we go so we do have the source so you can download it and you can see what is going on all right hope you like it um, thank you very much for watching this video and uh, there are a lot of videos to come in the future so stay tuned thank you very much